Hey coders, it's Sophia, your guide to AppMaster.io. Let's go! Sometimes we have cases where we need to integrate one server with another. Today we'll talk about integration of Adalo and AppMaster. Let's say we're satisfied with Adalo's front end. We can create a web application, but we would like to have more robust back end part. For instance, the back end of AppMaster. What do we need for this? In AppMaster, I have already prepared a business process. This business process gets the current Bitcoin price and processes it. Let's see how it is organized. We make an external request to find out the price of Bitcoin. We make an external request to find out the price of Bitcoin. We compare this value with the previous value from the database. The database was created by us before. Here we get the previous value from the database and convert it to float data type. So here our business process can go different ways. It depends on whether the result is greater or less. We convert the new value to float data type and start comparing them. Additionally, we created a text field and insert text about Bitcoin has grown, has fallen or remained unchanged. We calculate the difference by how much it changed, if it changed, and as a result, we get three values. The current price, the textual value of the change, in other words, grown, fallen or remained unchanged, as well, the difference is by how much it has changed. We got the values we need. We have saved this business process and created an endpoint for it. And we want to receive this data in Adalo. How can we do this? First off, we need to create a database. We get data from AppMaster. So let's call it AppMaster database. Let's add it. It will be those three values that we just looked at in AppMaster. The first is a numeric value, which is the price. The second value is text, text change. And the third value is a numerical change. Let's call it delta. Great, although the database is empty, it is ready to use. Now we need to create a button. The button will receive the value we need. This is the button. Let's not bother with setting it up. We're completely satisfied with the appearance. Let's just add the action on it. Let's create a custom action. It will refer to App Master. So let's call it and customize it. We're prompt to specify the path to the API. We have it. We can go get it from the project's API documentation. We can test it as well. But for now, let's copy it and paste. Pay attention that this is the post method. There you go. We, we use post. We need to select post. Done. There are no more parameters. There are no more input parameters. Finally, we can test. The request is sent to the App Master. From App Master to an external API to get the value itself. Data received. We can see that everything works great. We can save it. Now it remains only to write and obtain the values from the database. Let's create a record and specify the required values. The first one is the price, then the text value. And the third is the changes, delta. Great, done. And now we need to add a table where we'll see all these changes. Add a custom list and let's configure it a bit. The first component is text. I'm doing it a little bit bigger.
Here we'll show the value of the Bitcoin price. Therefore, let's make it a little bit bigger as well. So let's link this table to AppMaster database. And we'll select the required value. Current AppMaster exchange, delete the unnecessary. We don't need this title. Here we'll write down the numerical value of delta. Again, the settings, text, change, and delete the unnecessary. In general, everything is done. And let's add a third field, text component. It will give us delta changes. Everything is ready. We can check. Let's see what we got. We have opened a web application, but there's no data yet. By clicking the button, we're sending a request. This request should receive data and we'll place it in the database. Let's see. The request was sent to AppMaster and we will receive the data. We see that the current price is 42,782 and the price has changed since the last update. It decreased by 39.4. Let's see what happens next. Indeed, the price changes every second. The price continues to fall. Everything works as we want. And this means that we have done the Adalo and AppMaster integration. The Adalo integration is just an example. Any system that supports REST API standard can be connected to AppMaster IO project quite easily. That's all for today. See you all next time. The Adalo integration is just an example. Any system that supports API... No, I don't know. Standard. I forgot the standard last time. I'm actually going to fucking connect. Kill me. Fucking kill me. The Adalo... The Adalo, the Adalo the REST API standard can be connected to AppMaster I.O. Why am I so bad at this? It's illegal. The Adalo, just blah, blah, blah. see you all next time. That's horrible. Oh my God.